Thanks for joining us for Denver 7 News at 5. I'm Jessica Porter. And I'm Shannon Ogden. Glad you're with us tonight. And significant changes coming to Aurora's most powerful citizen-led board. The changes come following multiple Denver 7 investigations into questionable hiring practices for new police officers. Aurora's Civil Service Commission is responsible for hiring all new officers in the city. Our latest report exposed how the commission lowered the standard for one part of the hiring process and had no record to explain why. Tonight, Denver 7 investigative reporter Jennifer Kovaleski has the follow-up and an overhaul of the commission. We've done our part. For decades, the citizen-led board Desmond McNeil, now chairs, has had all the power when it came to hiring Aurora's new police officers. Has this taken away a lot of the commission's power? Yes. Motion to vote. But with this vote, changes have been adopted. The final say on who gets to wear a badge in Aurora will go back to the police chief and involve the city's human resources department. They're going to take the hiring process away from the Civil Service Commission and we're going to move into an oversight role. Do you agree with these changes or do you feel that you had no choice but to make them? I'm like, wow, that is a great question. Um, I agree with the changes. I think this is best practice moving forward and it's consistent with what they're doing across the country. Commissioners were hesitant to vote to give up their hiring power, but McNeil says the changes are part of state mandated improvements the city has to make. They're being made with the consent decree monitor. Colorado's attorney general ordered the consent decree after finding racially biased policing and use of force violations. The same year, Aurora Civil Service Commission came under fire for hiring this now former Aurora officer. Oh, seen pistol whipping and choking a suspect. A previous commission hired Officer John Hobart knowing he had a misdemeanor gun charge on his record. I don't think these changes involve previous mistakes so much as just an improvement in process over time. Councilwoman Danielle Jarinski chairs the Public Safety Committee and has raised serious concerns about the commission's hiring practices. You've had some very strong words to say about the commission in the past. What do you think about the changes they just voted to make? I think it shows that they're trying. Um, I think it shows that they hear us, and I think it shows that they're, they're wanting to be good partners. The exact details are still being worked out, but the final sign-off power on new police hires will go back to the police department starting next year. We're going to pull the data and annually review this because if this process doesn't work, we're going to change it again. Now you will have police officers hiring police officers, not just good stewards of the community trying to do the best that they can. I'm Denver 7 investigative reporter Jennifer Kovaleski.